On Tuesday, October 29, 2019, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai delighted and warmed the hearts of our fellow Kuan Yin practitioners at the New Land Ashram in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, with an impromptu conference. Master spoke about her most recent retreat. This retreat, I had to work a lot, a lot, a lot. Apart from inside work, even need to take care of some of the outer work as well. And the more I'm working inside for the world, the worse kind of energy that Maya was sent over. But I won't give up. I told him all the time. I told that entity all the time. You do what you want, and I do what I want. <laughs> but I will never give up because of you. So don't dream about it. Anyway, it's just a little, a little bit uh, challenging this time. But I'm okay. Just that I cannot see you. That's the only regrettable thing. I do feel that you wanted to see me very, very much. Yes. And in my heart, I would like to respond to that love that you sent to me through your longing, because some of you haven't seen me for a long time, and vice versa. I did try, but in the last minute, still cannot make it. Things happen, yeah? I'm glad to see you, looking happy, <laughs> radiant after so many days of meditation. And I'm lucky I'm still alive because the negative power has put many traps in different places for me to fall into fatal, fatal traps. And uh, sometimes annoyingly, I even go there. But somehow, it veer away from me. Yeah, that's what the heavens told me, the higher heavens told me, Eosky Gossip told me, that it veer away from you, it veered away from you, two times at least. And this time, I just avoid. I check before I go. Master graciously reminded us that we are always together and briefly spoke about the wondrous new spiritual land. Love is looking in the same direction, so we are never apart. Besides, even if we are not seeing each other in this life, in this physical life, we will see each other permanently, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> somewhere you cannot imagine. But you can think of, you can dream of this. It's a brilliant plane of existence, that we have no word in our vocabulary to explain, to expound, to, to describe, ever, ever. And our brain cannot really capish or imagine, but never mind, we get there. In some of your meditation sessions, in your visions, you probably have some glimpse of it. And the goddess of the upper level was so merciful even to show us on this planet by the double sun. You know, last time somebody took a photo in Mongolia. It shows that, <laughs> you know, there's a planet behind the sun, uh, together with the sun. There's no way to describe the plane of existence, the new consciousness plane of existence, but it's just a symbolic message for the world to know that we have a new planet. For you, the worthy souls, the beloved children of God. And I'm very happy that we saw that in physical <laughs> dimension. Our loving Master also called on us to be bold and do what we can to help save the animals and the planet. Every drop count in the ocean. Every drop makes the ocean. So please, save the world with me. Help the animals who are suffering without anyone to rely on, without anyone to defend for them, without a voice to speak out. 
to scream out for their suffering. Every time I cannot bear, I have to block my intellectual many times, otherwise I'll be crying all day and suffer so much, knowing the suffering of the animals. Please do help, okay? Help in any way you can. Show your friends a gruesome practice of animal industry, of how we, as a human, lost our humanity, lost our humane quality, lost our compassion, lost our sympathy. We lose everything, absolutely, if we lose compassion and mercy in our heart. So you try to invoke that merciful uh, quality in other humans, wherever you go, wherever you are, whenever you can, okay? By showing them the benefit of vegan diet through our television. You have many information. You take out some clip and show it to them. Show the important clips of the harm of alcohol, of meat, of fish, and those films, the gruesome, the wicked, Oh, I have no words. The evil practice, I have to say, evil, barbarous practice of animal abuse in livestock industry. Show it all to them. Let them be ignorant no longer about what they are eating, about how they are harming themselves, bringing all this dead, bloody cups, flesh into their bodies and other harmful substances as well, which is absolutely unnecessary. You have to show it to them. Don't be shy, okay? You might be suffering because of the images, but you have to show it to them. Because uh, simple words, gentle words, plain words, don't work. Do something, please. Whoever can do it. Even if you're old, you're never too old enough to watch those films with your neighbors or whoever come visit you, your family member who don't eat vegan, who still drink alcohol, harming themselves, all that. Show it to them. Don't just show my lecture. Let them wake up. Let them see the reality, the connection between the piece of meat that they put in their mouth and the pain, the agony, the suffering of other beings in the dark corner, hidden from sight. Show it all to them. We don't mince our words anymore, and we don't mince our action either. We go it our right right now. It's time. We have to do it bolder, more courageous now, more outright now, because time is very, very short now. The master power, heaven power, can help to keep the planet afloat for some time, to buy time for us. But we have to take action now. All the governments in the world must take action or else we'll be all gone. And even if the planet will not be gone, it will be like a burning inferno. And I don't think any good parents would like to imagine their children or their grandchildren be burned in such an inferno like that. So if they love their children, grandchildren, great-great-great-great-grandchildren, they have to act now, they have to be vegan now, because it's already officially acknowledged by all the governments in the world. I pray, I hope, I plead with them that they should act now. The world's getting better all the time. It's just that the world people has to catch up with it. And then it will be even better and better all the time. So if they became vegan, our lives will be more comfortable. We will live happily, healthily, long lives, and connected with the divine even. We are eternally grateful to the mighty EOS coup protectors for always doing their all to safeguard our most courageous, precious master. May God forever bless them, and we pray in heaven's love for Master's longevity and excellent health. Also, our humble appreciation to Master for prompting us to mobilize and take action. Vegan world will be. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.